Hello everyone and welcome back to All the Crazy Things in Kerbal Space Program 1.12, my stock science adventures where we will try to build big things. And so because we got some extra science in the previous video, I want to get larger tanks. And that will help make a larger ISRU lander than we saw in the previous video. I had a small, a nifty one, but it was a little bit too small for my purposes. We want larger ones so that we can lift off with a lot more ore and a lot more fuel refined at the surface. And so I think I'm going to get large volume containment. We don't need advanced fuel systems. That does have the jumbo tank, but that's not really for a lander. I think uh, this tank in particular would be better for a larger lander. And so I'm researching that. And really what I want otherwise is the Clampatron Senior, because then we can build larger stations more properly but I don't have enough science for that. But just in case I accidentally get tempted to spend science on other things, maybe I should get composites. I don't really want anything in here right now. Maybe the big fairing, uh, probably the big fairing, but, uh, and that's because we just got the bigger tanks here, but mainly I'm trying to get to metamaterials for just that docking board. <laughs> so anyway, I'll spend the science for that. Hopefully we'll gather some more science from Mimis over time. So this was our previous Mimis lander for the in situ resource utilization, drilling for ore and converting it to fuel. Um, it did it reasonably quickly, but of course the larger converter would be more efficient. But do we really want to carry that up and down all the time? If we don't carry it up and down all the time, then what we're going to be carrying is ore. And then we have to have large ore containers, which might be May, might be more efficient, but um, it could go either way. So what we could have is none of that. But then if I take advantage of the larger fuel tanks, then really we don't want to be carrying the ore around. We want to be converting it as fuel on the surface and then bringing it up as fuel and oxidizer. We can't get the larger ore tanks anyway, but we could strap a whole lot of ore tanks together. How much... I forget how much mass that is. So 16.83. This is 3 tons. This is so uh, 100 units of ore is 1 ton. I think overall then, since this tank here is 20 tons, it's not too different, is it? I mean, if that's 3 tons, you figure you could probably put 6 together. That's 18 tons. This is 20 tons. It really doesn't matter. <laughs> so. Uh, for now, for now, let me just try to make a big lander and we'll convert it on the surface. There's no point having the large converter unit because at the surface there's an infinite amount of ore. I guess it just matters how long you want to take doing it. Now one downside is we don't have the large landing struts. Let me see if we can get those. Oh no we can't, we need 2.2 science. Okay, what do you have? Oh, it's practically full up of science. Okay, transmit science. So maybe I would have enough for the docking port, the senior docking port though. So I could get the docking port, but you know what, let me get the landing leg. And now we need 56.4 for the docking port. And while we're doing the ISRU lander, big ISRU lander version, and then hopefully the space station will accumulate the science and then we'll get to it. This is our harvester. We'll just call it harvester. Sort of in, on in honor of the creator of Kerbal, uh, but also in honor of the ones in Dune. It's, it's a good name over overall. Trying to make it so that things don't bump into each other. I think I'll feel a little bit better if we have two of the terriers. I wonder, because we don't have big fuel cells, we do have the small fuel cell. I guess I'll add a couple of those, but it'd be better just to be able to contain enough charge for the nighttime side. We need to hire a new engineer though. Uh, Ellen Neri Chadrod. <laughs> Oh no, Chadrod's bad. Um, I'm not gonna be able to say Chadrod with a if with a straight face. Ellen, 
fine. Neri, fine. Grazon, no. Rally, fine. That drill is still very long. Maybe we can pack this in a little bit better. Well, that's sort of getting in the way of the docking port, but what I can do is add another battery. When these tilt, I think we need to move the radiators a little bit higher. Just sort of want to fill in this gap. I think I can counterbalance the Oscar B fuel tank with some batteries here to fill it in. Alright, so that's the harvester. And we need a rocket to get it over there, but not really too much. It's got 3,547 on its own. Should I dual mainsail this or just add boosters? Do we have Separatrons yet? <laughs> no, no we don't. Gosh, where are they? No, it'll be fine in terms of thrust weight ratio with six of these. But the Delta V, well, I'm sure we'll be able to make it. Well, that's a stout looking thing, but it's not the worst looking rocket I've ever made. Uh, let me take a look at where the Separatrons are. At least with the Thumpers, we don't have to worry too much about the Separatrons. Oh, they're here. Precision propulsion. But alright, we'll, we'll pass on that for now because I'm saving for the big docking ports. We're going for big things and those are little things. Why even have the shrimp here? <laughs> Seriously though, why even have the shrimp here? Alright, here we go with Ellen Kerman heading out to Minmus with the larger ISRU lander. Throttle up, SAS on, and launch. It does occur to me that we don't have enough docking ports at the station, though. So we're gonna need to expand the station next. Okay, booster set. Instant disposal. Ah, the mainsail. And we're past the speed of sound. Ah, we have too much delta V, as it turns out. Okay. I'll take that, and we'll dispose of the mainsail stage. I guess we can separate fairing. Hopefully the plasma effects are not too severe. Okay, mainsail stage. Technically the radiators might be blocking the solar panels a bit. I should have staggered them somehow. Alright, we are in orbit. Where is Minmus? Okay, that is our plot. And go. Twin Terrier. Now, oh, once again, land directly, get fuel, and then get to the station. Um, but before we get to the station, we'll add a new module to the station, I think. It's too bad we couldn't have gotten some of the extra crew cabins that were available in KSP-2 here in KSP-1. Uh, because they were larger ones than we have right now. We've got the Mark III cabin style for like airliners or space planes, but we don't really have large ones in the normal cylindrical style. Okay. That'll be fine. Seems good to me. On to Minmus. I don't think there's any science here. Oh, you know what? We've got so much fuel, we might as well deliver it. No point landing with all of that. So, we'll rendezvous with the station after all. Capturing. I think I'll just take that. 30 meters per second is hardly anything. Maybe. Okay, there we go. Alright, let's meet up with it. Okay, well the fit might be tighter than I thought. Lots of panels around here. It's like mere levels of panels. Oh, he bumped. Come on. Alright, there we go. 
So, well, you can see how big this tank is compared to everything else. How much can we transfer in safely, though? While still being able to land. Seems almost a good ratio there. Well, it's still more than enough to land. Well, I feel better that we're not as inefficient, though. Trying to carry all of it down for no reason wouldn't be any good. I'll just take this. After all, we can refill the tank completely, in theory, on the surface. Right, speaking of which, let's find a good location to land at. We don't need to land at the same location we did before. Just need somewhere with ore. Coming down here wouldn't be a bad idea, though. But then, we basically have to make our orbit retrograde. I don't want to wait. Minmus is going to rotate. I mean, yeah, let's just take advantage of overwhelming Delta V and land immediately. All right, in we go. Okay, we are down. Still a little bit slopey, but not as bad as some areas. Okay, deploying drill. Seems to sink in. I forgot the ore container! No. Okay, we can fix this. We've got engineers. I'm gonna need to send something. We're gonna get an engineer to slap an ore container on here. Thank goodness for the, for the engineering capabilities. Okay, back to the station. All right. Yes, we can fix this. It's fine. It's fine. Well, okay. Well, this is getting us closer quicker. Uh, it also includes a fairly tight pass over this mountain. Okay, go. Okay, that's probably close enough for now. Okay, we are docked. And we await ore containers. So let me cook up an expansion module to the station that will have ore containers and then have one of the many engineers that we have. Well, we have two engineers here, Bill and Ellen. Uh, who will remove the ore containers and put it on the lander. Or we could just take the ore container from this one, but nah, uh, we should still have this one intact. I don't think it's fair to take that one right now. Ah, one thing I would like from here though is the science. So let me transmit what we've got here. I don't know if it's got to be enough for the big docking ports yet or not. Okay, looks like we've got enough. So, big docking ports for our new module. Alright, so what I've got in here is just a docking hub, basically, though I've slapped on a bunch of stuff. So, docking port controller, RCS, one of the hubs, and one of these guys, multi-point connector, and then some of the little adapters, and then the big docking ports, and then an adapter down here, and then one of the Rockmax X200-16 fuel tanks with that texture, a whole bunch of ore containers, comms, solar panels, Oscar bees to attach to sparks so that we get this not really 2000 but closer to 3000 meters per second of delta V, a reaction wheel and a battery and then docking port. So that's what I'm sending over and we'll dock it to the Minmus station and otherwise it's just a bunch of fuel tanks, fins, and a mainsail because I'm not trying to make things complicated, we're trying to get things done. So, let's go. SAS on, throttle is up, and launch. Mainsail is truly the, the no-nonsense engine in Kerbal Space Program. Once again, the mainsail has given me too much Delta V. 
Okay, no, just coast. We're actually sort of getting lift here. Do you see the apoapsis going up? Got a little bit of lift. Though, actually, it ends up being radial because the periapsis was hurt by it. Not a net positive. Okay, separation of the mainsail stage. It will deorbit. And spot time. Oh, we're actually going down. Whoops. No, up, 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 up. <laughs> radial. Just go radial. Okay, that's fine. I miss. Oh, let's just meet up with it at the ascending node there. Go. Okay, well, that's as good as I can do that. And let me just adjust the mid course. I sure hope the engineers can just sort of take the ore containers and. You know what? Before we get there, that's a glow. Um, maybe I should test whether the engineers can actually take the ore containers off. I will take it off of the other lander. Or maybe I'll just test whether they can. I forget if they needed tools or not. I, I'm Because half the time I confuse Kerbal inventory system with the way the stock system does it. So alright, Bill. What is it that you can do, exactly? Last time I played stock was... Okay, yeah, okay, so you can take it like that. And then how do I slap it on things? Okay, well I can slap it on like that. That's too big, but I could just place it like that. Okay, he zapped it. But... Let me just try and put it back on. I'm satisfied. I don't want to leave this lander without one though. Um, okay. Uh oh. No, okay, yeah. Okay. Go zap it. Does it need zapping? It probably needs zapping. I'm not convinced he's done it until he gets zapped. Okay, he's zapping it. <laughs> All right, I, 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 I guess it's on there. It's gonna be Bill's problem if it isn't. So I'm gonna put the new module basically in between this lander right here. Right here is where I want to put the new module. Uh, so I might as well relocate this lander over to this side. Lots of docking happening in this episode, and I'd be lying if I said I didn't want some sort of tool to help out, help out with the alignment. But again, no quality of life tools here. You know, try and play it stockish. I guess I'm trying to sympathize with the console players or something, I don't know. Okay, come on, magnetism. Okay, that's redocked, so now we can dock the other module over here. And so back to that module. Alright, out away from Kerbin, we are headed to the mid course correction. Nice auroras there. I'm gonna need to create some stuff that's gonna use the fuel that we're going to drill for on Minmus. I'm gonna have to have stuff over here. Construct a ship of some kind that's going to do interplanetary things. Capture burn time. Sparks extra loud this time for some reason. And that'll be good enough right there. 
don't think I need the solar panels sticking out anymore. Probably best not to. Okay, looking about lined up there. Should be good enough. Come on, magnetism. RCS off. Come on. Come on. Oh no. No, come on. You can do it. You can. There we go. <laughs> All right. Well, it might be just a little bit askew. I think it's pretty much where I wanted it. Okay, but that's the new module. Then we can make larger bits to the station. But first things first, let me get Bill out again and have Bill do the business. Okay, a little bit off, but all right. Okay, just for symmetry. Grab that one. Uh, I'll put it over here for now. Okay, good. Let me try and get the bottom one a little bit better. Close enough. All right. Oh, uh, it was Ellen Kerman I got. Um, I got my bill out. So confused. Well, I guess it's appropriate Ellen got to fix up the lander. Ellen's lander, after all. Okay, well, let's land, finally, with ore containers. Uh, well, we still have enough fuel for landing, but not as much margin for if I mess something up. Well, we're heading into the dark side. Let's try and land. This is bumpy. I guess we'll try and land over here, but I'll be going into the dark side by the time we get there, too. I'll just land here. Okay, retro burn. Right there, or maybe shading a little bit south. We'll see how bumpy it is. Okay, yeah. I, I definitely want to be on this side of that ridge. That should be fine. Coming in! Ellen's second time on the surface. Okay, we're down. Sort of clipped that rock there, but... Alright, let's see if we can do the thing now. Aw, oh, that rock is sort of... Obscuring uh, our solar panel a bit. Not really, but... Okay, we are getting ore, slowly, but the thermal efficiency is going up. Okay, decent speed, and refilling LFO. Alright, Ellen is doing Ellen's thing. And what I want to see is if we have enough electric charge for the nighttime side, or whether I should turn on the fuel cells. We do have enough electric charge for the nighttime side, we don't need fuel cells. Oh, a little bit of overheating there. But let's just shut everything down. We're basically topped off, except for the mob propellant. So stop. I guess maybe I should turn on the start ox one. We'll be a little bit short of ore, but that's fine. Okay. All done. Well, I've had enough docking in this episode, so I'm gonna leave Ellen down here. Let's see. Oh, we got some extra science, too. Um, we should probably just recover that and that. I'll decide whether to transmit later. Okay, well, this is new, then. 
So that means we need to have Helen pop out and grab some stuff, huh? Surface sample, keep EV report. Oh, EV report we already did. Surface sample we didn't do. Interesting. Okay. And crew report. Oh, that's new. Well, I can. I'll just transmit that. We've got some other stuff. The science lab is still basically full. So, all right. It just needs a little bit more, and we'll get that. So, Ellen's done. Ellen's thing on the surface of Minmus. We've got a big tank of liquid fuel and oxidizer. Really, next time I should focus on putting it to use. And what would be? I mean, what would be the thing that we need all this for? Isn't it just easier to launch stuff straight off of Kerbin anyway? Hmm, I'll think about that. But anyway, for now, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.